Hi, everyone. Welcome today. Uh, we are so glad to have you at the event. We have so many students here with us today to learn all about UBC Engineering. So to get us started for the day, I'm going to introduce our Dean of the Faculty of Applied Science, Professor James Olson. Great. Well, thank you so much, Erin. Good, good morning, everyone, or maybe uh, afternoon or evening, depending on where you're joining from. Uh, as Erin said, I'm uh, Professor James Olson. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Applied Science, which is, of course, engineering uh, here at UBC. And as well, I'm a professor in the uh, mechanical engineering department uh, here on the Vancouver campus. But before I go any further, I'd just like to acknowledge that UBC has built its Vancouver campus on the tra uh, traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Musqueam people. Our Okanagan campus is on the Silks Okanagan people. I'm, I'm really thrilled that you've been able to uh, join us today for this open house. And I'm reflecting a little bit on maybe on why you're here and maybe you've um, you've come because you have a specific uh, career in mind, perhaps engineering. Maybe you've uh, come here because you're uh, good at solving problems or maybe you've been maybe you're here because you, your parents or someone else uh, may have told you that you had to be here today. But I'm hoping uh, whatever reason that brought you here, I'm hoping that you will leave knowing more about UBC engineering and that it's certainly a place to be if you want to make a, a positive impact on the world. I'll share a few stories with you. You've likely heard of uh, Ada Lovelace. She was a computer programmer 100 years before the invention of the computer as we know it. Uh, and Ada, of course, was uh, an engineer. You'll also have heard of Thomas Edison, who created the light bulb, the movie camera, the battery for the electric car. Edison, too was an engineer. And these are just a couple of the many famous um, engineers from the past. People in the field now are doing work that's just as exciting, even if their names aren't as recognizable as Lovelace and Edison. And uh, many of them are right here at UBC. For example, Dr. Anna Blakeney is a UBC biomedical engineer. She's helped develop uh, a COVID-19 vaccine that's saving lives and protecting people from that harmful infection. Dr. Majid Mosaini, a good friend of mine, is a UBC chemical and biological engineer. He's helping to build water treatment plants for indigenous communities, which brings about health and quality of life in uh, these remote regions. Our biggest challenge right now, of course, is no surprise, is really climate uh, crisis. And I refer to the, that challenge as the, the challenge of climate and equity. And engineers are uniquely skilled to be able to help find solutions uh, for some of these large global challenges. Engineers are problem solvers, and so they're actively tackling these global challenges that are facing the world. We need engineers to reimagine everything about the built environment and the infrastructure we use every day so that we can reverse some of the impact of carbon on our planet. We need new types of energy, new infrastructure, new systems. We need to restore vitality and health to our land, oceans, and air. Our health and the planet's health relies on engineers finding innovative fixes and solutions. We also need engineers to help us build more inclusive and equitable society where everyone can thrive. Right now, we're learning about the destruction and suppression of people's groups when socioeconomic systems and physical infrastructure is designed to exclude or is re reserved only for the privileged. Engineers can help build a world where everyone gets the opportunity to live a healthy and meaningful life. So if you want to develop life-saving technology to build sustainable infrastructure or to create new, highly impactful technology, if you want to positively impact the climate or improve society, then I invite you to join us here at UBC Engineering. I hope you know that UBC Engineering ranks uh, second in Canada and UBC and our faculty consistently been named among the top 40 uh, in the world. And I would often say that uh, UBC is a top 20 public university in the world. As one of the most prestigious research universities in the country, you will have access to award-winning faculty members who are leading the world in innovation and change. 
you'll find this to be a very student-centered learning environment. The classroom component is at the core of learning at UBC, but our engineering students also have access to opportunities to develop critical strengths through a broad range of work programs, exchange opportunities, mentorship programs, research, and we have one of the largest set of design teams, and so there's outstanding design team opportunities. This unique blend of classroom and extracurricular opportunities will give you a competitive edge in the job market. You will leave UBC with the foundational skills that you need to become a leading agent of a positive global change. And so for the rest of the day, I really encourage you to explore all of the booths uh, during this open house. Find out more about the different programs, career paths, and the student experiences that you'll have here at UBC. Please speak with our engineering advisors, our professors, current students, and learn what makes it so exciting to be a UBC engineer. I just wanted to thank you for your interest in our program. I'm grateful that you're joining us uh, today for this open house, and I'm excited to have you start your future here with UBC Engineering. And with that, I think I'll, I'll just pass it back uh, to Aaron. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, we are going to stop this broadcast for just a minute and we'll be right back with our Why Engineering presentation that will share a lot more about why you should consider engineering as a future degree and career. Thank you so much, James. Thanks, Erin.